Hello, welcome to Steve's 8-Bit Gaming and today we're on Games I Hated number 18 this is a 1984 game by Melbourne House um, on the Spectrum as you can gather now I bought this because of the the uh, the art on the on the cassette cover I thought that looks cool now when you think about it that's, that's a bloody stupid thing to do because I mean it has no it has nothing to do with the game, whatever. What the game. <laughs> I mean, the art. I mean, it's the most amazing art and the most garbage game. So why I thought, hey, this looks cool, I'll buy it. Was well, it just, just a stupid choice, really? Anyway, um, it looks sort of manic minorish. Got to pick the flashing objects up, then get to the next level. But it's nothing like manic miner. I mean, not, not as good. It's just let's start it loading. That's, that's a nice uh, loading screen. No, that's, that's pretty cool, that. And there we go. Nice title page. So, here we go. We're this night. We've got to collect the flashing objects. If I had to jump. Now, at first, first glance, you think, what's wrong with that? It's brilliant. Well, so... I'll explain what I didn't like about it as we go, sort of thing. Pick that up. It can fall a long way considering he's clad in iron, but <laughs> maybe that protects him, who knows. So we've got to pick all the bits up and then get to the uh, exit, sort of very manic minor ish. And then we get to level 2, and you're dead. Yeah. If you don't move instantly, well, nearly instantly, you're dead. And this death sequence just pissed me the hell off. It's just so slow. It goes on and on and on and on and on. And it, the more you die, the longer it seems to last. You just want to, you just want to play the game, but it goes, oh, for God's sake! So I got to collect these flashing things. You know, I'm not even sure I did this level. If I, if I did level 2, I, I'm sure I didn't get past 3. I, I never got very far, I know that for a fact. Go on. There we go. Oh, oh. Shit. Ah, oh, I messed up. I messed up. Get in there. Oh, what? Timer. Run out of time. Yeah, of course you got a timer. <sighs> this bloody death sequence. I mean, you can't skip it. And, oh, yeah, I'm dead. Didn't move. Didn't move quick enough at the start. I'm dead. Ridiculous. Oh hell. Get up the bloody ladder, man. You got to wait to drop down here. You gotta get behind him. And this one. Now, can we sneakily get that? Yes, we can. No, do you want to do that? And the timer's going, look at the speed of the timer going down. No, I'm screwed. Run out of time now. Could have could have actually done it. Could have done it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Run out of time. Uh. Long drawn out death sequence yet again. For God's sake. Well, we'll try it again. Um, considering he's, he's a knight in... Steel armor or whatever it was. He's moving bloody quick, didn't he? <laughs> Go on, get that. That's it. So the first level's not that bad. That's quite quite easy really, which is as a first level should be, but it's his second one that's a bugger. And move it straight away, you gotta move. There you go. These. 
No, he's still wasting time. Can't really waste time with his timer. Come on, Knight, I need you back here. No, no, no. <sighs> we wait three bloody days for the Death Seekers to play through. Move straight away, that's it. Bloody bird at the top. Oh, dear me. Come on. Yep. <laughs> this game drove me potty. It really did. Come on, we can do this. Ooh, that bird nearly had me then. I mean, I, I'm in armour. I'm a bloody knight in armour. How has a bird kill me? No! No, 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 no. Come on. Come on, you can do this. Ooh. Where's the exit? Oh, it's up there. Really? Shite. Uh, run. Whoa. <laughs> so close. Where are we now? Oh, good grief. Ooh, that was a bit risky, but whatever. So I'm a knight in armour. Try not to get killed by a bird in the ball. I mean, r really? I was a bit lucky as well. That timing, I was just very lucky with that. Well, strange, because that screen was a lot easier than the second one. What we got here now? Now, how do we do this? No. How do I go down? Shit, shit, shit. You can't go down, can you? You can't, you can't go down. Have it? Oh, Alright. Well, let's have another one just to. Got to give you guys and girls your money's worth. <laughs> and besides, if I don't die often enough, Dell will be unhappy. And we can't have an unhappy Dell because that's not good. That's really not good. <laughs> I like the, uh, oh my god, it's twice I've missed that and I'm running out of time. I like the nights for your lives at the bottom where they're, they're marching across the full length of the screen rather than just a little bit of back like Manny Miner. So it, it, the game does have nice touches, it's just, whoa, it's just bloody and infuriating and annoying. It's basically the bloody death sequence, which is crazy. Come on, get out of the way. No, I don't know, we're doing... Oh, whoa, 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 no. They didn't time that right. Wasting time in there, man. You're wasting time. And that was risky, but you got away with it. Come on. Well, that was easy a second time around, wasn't it? All oh, these things are you supposed to be counting. That's not... Picking up, I mean, that looks like a sort of a, what is it, a key or something? Maybe a wand. If you can actually hit the bloody thing. And I've wasted a ton of time here already. I guess that's a crown. That, God knows what, flashing box? No idea. Now we've got to be careful jump, jumping down here. Got to time it right. Last time I got very lucky. Probably won't do that again. Yeah, well, bloody hell. <laughs> And that a ball. Fla collect a flashing ball. And that's that done. Right, next level. Uh, 
That's a shield, isn't it? That is a... What, an axe? Yeah, it's definitely an axe. That's a plane. Really? <laughs> now, we don't want to go too far here. We want to go to that last bit there. And get that, and get that. And where's the exit? Oh, we need one more, don't we? Pick up the exits at the top because we can't get back down again. Oh, uh, I need to jump this. What? Oh, come on. I don't know, I thought I was doing alright then and messed it up. And I've messed it up now. Press the jump button then, but now it happened. Come on. Get that out, and get that, and get that. Now we have to go to the top. Now can we wait and follow this bird? Might be easy to do it that way. Go on, birdie. Come on, get away. Get on with it. Are we safe there? Yeah. No! <laughs> Don't believe it! <laughs> How are we going to get past this screen? Let me tell you now. No. Not going to happen. You see, that was clumsy. I should have waited on that top and not dropped down quite so fast. Here we go through this bloody crap again. Go on, we'll have one more go. Now, this is a strange, uh, this is a strange thing because I hated this back in the day. Yes, I bought it, like I said, and I hated it. I played it on and off, but most of the time I hated it. I mean, it didn't go flying across the room, the cassette, but why it didn't, I don't know, because it could have done, could have done quite easily, because I got really, really pissed off with it. But I'm playing it today, and, um, Apart from the death sequence, which is ridiculous, it's really not that bad, so... It's got a place on games I hated, but... I think it's more like games I used to hate. Like, no, I think there's far worse games than this. It's just that bloody death sequence that drives your potty move. So let's call this one... Games I used to hate. <laughs> Which is probably true for most of them, really. Come on, up you go. I mean, there is some good gameplay to it, definitely. Oh, no, I couldn't get past him then. Could not get past him then. Oh, no, 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 I was greedy. I should have moved away, waited for him and come back and got that. But no, I thought I'll go for it and I paid the penalty of sitting through this bloody sequence again. Why doesn't it remember the ones you picked up already? Come on, it's not hard. You can just store it as a variable. Come on, man. Oh, that was a bit... Risky. No! <laughs> Panicked. Right, now wait for him. Now go back and get the other bit, that's it. Watch out for the birdie. Right. Here we go. Back on this one. Get the timing right three times in a row. Yeah, bloody hell. 
And that's that one. Now we're back on this. It'll be nice to see the next screen because I don't think I ever did. Certainly don't recall seeing it. Right, now be careful. Get that. No. You see, you've got to fall down again now, haven't you? Because you messed up. Right, follow the bird. Get that bird out of the bloody way. Oh, jump too late. Jump too late. Is that screen messing up again? It did that earlier. I've tried all sorts of different ways. Yeah, it's messing up again. <sighs> well, I've restarted this video three times. I'm not going to do it a fourth. Bugger it. <laughs> ah! Now that was a bit dodgy. And that was just stupid. Yeah, I'm sorry about the flicker at the bottom of the screen. I've had really bad flickering with this game, like we have tried all sorts of weird settings and different things. This is sort of the best I, I could get it, but I thought it was fixed, but no, it's still a bit dodgy. Sorry about that. Right, now, can we do this? It'd be nice if we could actually do this. Come on. Get this bird out of the bloody way. And that bloody ball again. Uh, I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. So that's Sir Lancelot, uh, 1984 Melbourne House. A game I really did hate, but don't really hate now. <laughs> okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.